guys, welcome back to my channel. The biggest, biggest welcome back. Now today I went to Aldi and I did a massive, massive grocery haul food shop for a hundred pounds or just under, I think it was just shy, it was like 98 pounds. Basically, if you have been following for the past two hauls, um, I have been trying to use exactly what we've got in the cupboards, in the fridge, in the pantry. Um, yeah, and I've pretty much used absolutely everything up um, or I'm gonna show you actually just an ultra, I promise you an ultra, ultra, ultra quick little tour to show you exactly what it is. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Ultra quick. Obviously, there is stuff with like baking things. Baking things going on up there, and then, but like all the jars are empty, and we've haven't really got that much like tinnage. Just got some bread here, crusty rolls. But we haven't got any rice or any pasta. We've got macaroni, but it doesn't really count. We got we've got a couple crackers. Some of these are actually that's nearly empty. So yeah, it was time for a restock, and I've been doing really really cheap hauls. The cheapest was forty five or four no forty eight pounds um and then in here pretty much same story it is just like pretty bare we haven't got any meat anymore we've got a couple bits um we've still got some potatoes and some dodgy looking carrots but mostly just cheese like normal and then yeah we have eaten up quite a lot of the stuff that's been here but straight away what i did actually manage to oh what i did actually get but i put things straight in the freezer as i got raw peeled argentinian shrimp and seafood selection which is really 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 good they have like mussels and prawn and all of that in it so that is definitely worth it we have gotten rid of gotten rid of we've eaten the giant cheesecake all is good and we've eaten one packet no two packets of the churros so that's even better i'm just going to quickly walk you through the meal plan the prices and all of that really really good stuff today is the day of coffee i swear Okay, so I tend to just work my way over here, like go like more snacky. It kind of works its way down to you end up in vegetables, but I have had to just try to fit everything into one area. What is missing there? You know when something's been taken? I can't remember, something's just been moved. Oh, that's been moved, I think. So I'm gonna start over here. So these are the breadsticks and these are, these are 59p for some breadsticks, uh, the Grissini, Grissini breadsticks. These have been a little bit trampled in the shop, but not in the shop, in the um, bag. But yeah, absolutely love these. Aldi breadsticks are really, really good. And the next thing I do get is I get the Harvest Morn. It's trying to be a bit like, um, every single time I'm always forgetting the name of this muesli brand. Someone please remind me, what is it called? You know the one I'm talking about. It's trying to be like the main Swiss style muesli brand, um, but this is by Harvest Morn and it's really, really good. And it's like half the price, £1.69. And whoever's, whoever this is trying to be like, is like double that. It's really, really expensive, but this tastes just like it. And it's really nice. And it has these nice little Swiss mountains. These are actually a really big hit. I got these not too long ago and then I decided to get them again. The Choco Wheaties, they're really, really good. It says turn up your taste buds. They have it in frosted as well, but I'd much rather just get the chocolate to be honest. I mean, I did actually ask Robin like, do you want the frosted or these? Cause you know, she's allowed on the weekend, on a Saturday, she's allowed some, Saturday or Sunday, she has some chocolate cereal. And they are £1.49. I then got two whole things of bagels because I absolutely love my bagels. This is like same old, same old. And then I always get the same type of bread as well. The Super Seed Farmhouse. Sometimes when I go to Aldi, their bread isn't all there. The same with Lidl actually, but this stuff is really, really good. And yeah, I just pop it in the freezer. I then got some long grain rice, which cooks in 15 minutes. I maybe should have, wait, did I get two of them or one? No, I only got one and maybe I should have gotten two. But yeah, that'll be really, really good because we're gonna be having salmon later. Like I'm gonna um, pan fry some salmon with some rice and some veggies, all of that kind of thing. Not really like a specific recipe, but I just love, like I love cooking salmon. Cooking of salmon, this was seven pounds. Um, I'm gonna be cooking it tonight. I literally just get like a half side because if it's all four of us and I just cut them up into like, um four or five sort of thin slices and then i pan fry it all rather than buying two packets um so yeah i just i just get the boneless side of salmon and that works out absolutely fine okay so this i didn't actually get from audi this i got from morrison's and it's like four pounds 16 i think the purina one is for you isn't it yes it is because believe it or not he is only nine months old but you're absolutely huge. Okay, these noodles are 69p and I'm gonna be making like a sort of stir fry. Um, these are really, really, really good. Um, medium egg noodles. These are also delicious as well and they're really, really cheap. So do them. And then with that, um, I also get these. Um, this is a mixed pepper stir fry. You can get um, different ones. Like you can get one with mushroom and butternut squash and chili in it, but I just thought I would go ultra basic and it just costs less to get one of these than it does 
to get all the different ingredients for it. This is 95p, so yeah, by the time I've obviously gotten all the different ingredients, it does work out quite cheap. Um, also, I got some mint sauce as well, because um, yeah, we love mint sauce on peas, so definitely go get that one. And then I get these organic Mamiya, Mamiya bars, um, which both girls absolutely love, they always have done, which is just as well, because there's really nothing like naughty where you can look. There you go, so this is exactly what's in them, if anyone's ever curious. And yes, it has got some sugar in it, but it's nothing, you know, there's no artificial stuff really in it. So um, yeah, that's why I like using this. £1.49 and these are the straws, um, you get four in a thing and yeah they're really really good, they're like a healthy alternative to like crisps. So for instance this is exactly what is in these, potato starch, right? so as you can kind of see they're a much 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 better alternative, like no added sugar or salt or anything like that, so these are really 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 good for both girls and I'm happy to get them, just like I'm happy to get those bars as well. Also um, we've got some sugar, sugar, sugar soft, super soft whole meal rolls for Robin because she loves having this we've got some um pen pasta as well we've got two things of them i think one's just fallen out in the car um but yeah always like to get these i really wish they did like much much bigger bags um in audi but they don't which is a bit uh, disappointing like if you go to tesco or somewhere you can get them like big bulk buy which we used to always do but now we just don't go to tesco as much just because it's cheaper to go to little or Audi. So um, basically this weekend, so this is £3.38 for like a nice bit of gammon joint. And basically I got some cauliflower, but the cauliflower sort of sparked it off. I wanted to make cauliflower cheese and cauliflower cheese is a little bit salty, I am well aware. But basically I was like, well, I've got to find some meat to roast with it. So I just thought I'd do a gammon joint. I'm not gonna do any like potatoes or anything. I just really, really wanted gammon joint and cauliflower cheese. Like what is the matter of me? Anyway, I was had a craving for it, so thought that's what I'm gonna do. So that was actually quite a good deal, really. This big thing is £1.45, which is British cooked chicken. And yeah, you can get this massive great big thing for £1.40, what, what I just said, £1.49, £1.45. British cooked chicken, big family pack. Robin and everyone loves having chicken in their lunchbox. The next thing I did get is I got a little assortment. I've got babe bell, I've got two things of halloumi to make a pasta bake this week. And then I also got some English mustard because I love English mustard. What is it? Um, the French mustard as well, like Dijon mustard, but I really, really like English one. £2.49, which I think is an amazing deal. You get 10% reduced fat beef mint. I'm gonna be having a chili at some point. So really, really happy I got that. And then I also got these as well. These are like £1.50 each. Seven fried chicken goujons. I've got seven fried, and then I also got the breaded, um, just for when if anyone can't be bothered to cook. Then obviously I've got some chicken goujons in as well. So what? So for, so far I've got the stir fry, I've got the salmon, um, I've got the chili, and then I've also got the pasta bake. So that's like four different meals. And then over here these are like three pound fifteen, three pound something. I just saw on my list. Um, Chinese chicken stir fry. I thought I'd get this and put it in the freezer because honestly these are so good. Like on Tuesdays Robin does gymnastics. I don't get back into quite late so it's really really good is having something like this because then um, you can just do it and the thing is we have that and chicken tikka and the reason why i figured this out the reason why some of them have so much salt or so much sugar or anything like that is because do you see do you see that packet right there well that packet is full of sauce and now you don't have to use the sauce because obviously the chicken's got tikka on it and things likewise over here um, if you do not use the sauce, um, it eliminates loads of like the sodium and loads of the sugar. But it's true, it really does, because um, yeah, I mean, then you just kind of get like chopped up meat, which has already been seasoned, and then the vegetables. But that's what I like to do anyway, depending on what I'm having. They do a really good um, beef one, uh, which I never ever ever use the sauce for because I just sort of create my own. So I suppose it just like, it depends on how confident you feel if you can sort of mimic that without having, like mimic the sauce about having like loads and loads of like salt and sugar. Does that make any sense? Like if you're trying to do like, um, like a quick meal, like any of those fruit, like frozen meals or anything, um, something like that where it's just been like chopped up, if you're just trying to do it like healthy and cheaply or like quickly, whatever the case may be, just yeah make your own sauce that would have come in the packet but just make it without sugar and salt i don't know it depends if you can even be bothered to be honest like it just depends whatever whatever you want to do but yeah i tend to not use the packets that are in there massive thing of eggs as well because yeah we go through a lot of eggs i then actually stocked up on my tins because it's the one thing so basically by the end of the two weeks of using up what i had i had no rice i've got still got no risotto rice had no rice had no couscous had no um 
pasta. I had like, I've got tins, but a lot of them are actually coconut milk and marifat peas and baked beans and tuna. Do you know what I mean? Like nothing like a, nothing like this. So I bought, stocked up on loads of tins of tomatoes. These are the best ones, chunky shot tomatoes with herbs. They've got loads and loads of basil in it and it's so, so yummy. I've then also got red kidney beans, uh, red kidney beans and then two things with mixed beans. So good. Um, and then up here, this is £5.25 and I actually bought this for the bottle originally, but how pretty is that? It's an Amarillo, Mavera, 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 Reserva. Basically it's a Reserva and that bottle, I love it. I love the look of that bottle. That's the reason why I bought it. So absolutely zero idea what it tastes like. Just went for the bottle and it's under six pounds. So you can't really go wrong. Okay, so over here, I've got some uh, cauliflower from a cauliflower and cheese. Uh, I've got some more pen pasta. I got two things of yogurt because yeah, I rinse through yogurt. We all do. It's like one pound something for the yogurt. Wheat biscuits, they're just exactly like wheat bix but a lot cheaper, so I got them. Um, and yeah, I just get like an assortment of veg. So we get through, sorry, well zoomed in there. We get through so many apples, it's actually hideous how many apples we get through. So I bought a massive thing of British red apples. Look at the size of these apples, guys. Like, look, I mean, this one's not exactly the greatest looking, but look at how big that apple is. Ginormous. But other apples which I think are still in the car. I swear a few things have like fallen out in the car. But yeah, I got some British red apples, got some cauliflower, got some carrots, celery. Like I swear, like if you're gonna make like a pasta sauce or anything, adding celery to pasta sauces just absolutely completes it. So I do the celery and then I actually got three, three individual peppers because the girls love red pepper and yellow pepper, but they really do not like green, which is understandable. Who wants to eat green pepper on its own? You might, but I know a fair few people don't. Basil, because fresh basil is the best. Then also got some courgette, blueberries, which the girls, oh, there's one smushed, there's one they've all kind of gotten into, cherry tomatoes, and loads of cucumber. You happy up there? Yeah. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this grocery haul. I absolutely love doing grocery hauls. Do them every single week. So if you're really, really into that, please let me know. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and we'll do some more. I'm really sorry if there wasn't any like specific recipes to link. I mean, this week I'm literally just doing a lot of stuff which I sort of don't follow a recipe for. I just sort of like wing it or it's just something I just kind of created on my own. So yeah, basically that's it. But I hope you really enjoyed it nonetheless. Go check out all my other ones if you already into grocery hauls and I will catch up with you guys in the next video. Have a great time, take care of each other and take care of yourselves.